Hi, I'm Sanjay Machumna. I'm a plastics and hand surgery consultant from Yorkshire. Um, and for this medicine, in a nutshell talk, we're going to have a quick run through a microsurgical kit. Uh, the microsurgical kit involves the instrumentation here, and then a different a wide variety of clamps, and you have sutures and other bits and pieces that help with the microsurgery. So we're going to first start off with the instruments. Okay. So now going on to the microsurgical instruments themselves. So we've got the curved scissors and these are used for tissue dissection. Okay. We've got the straight scissors and the straight scissors are used mainly for suture cutting um, or cutting the vessel themselves. You get a nice straight cut. So the curved scissors are more used for getting rid of adventitia, but there are two kinds of scissors and you've got to use um, what you want in the appropriate manner. The clamp applicators, and there to actually, um, if you take a clamp here, they fit on there, and they're to open and close the clamp. For more small microvascular clamps, you've got to use a clamp applicator, not your fingers, because otherwise you will, you'll destroy the spring mechanism on the clamp. And they tend to have an artery clip, and the artery clip actually is useful so when you have a double clamp, like so, and you put your vessels, and to bring the vessels, or approximate them to the optimal position, or spread them out. So the artery clip works very well for that sliding mechanism. A nice little curved artery clip is quite useful. And then we've got the fives, which are the jewelers number five uh, forceps, and they're straight and they're a bit sharp on the ends. And it's because they're sharp, you cannot put them into a vessel because you'll damage the intima. Never, never, never ever put it into a vessel. You've got to use these things called five A's and the vessel tips, as you can see, are a little bit different. They're a bit rounded if I do that. So they're less damaging to the intima. And to make it easy, they tend to have a curve on them to essentially dis differentiate it from that. So that's a fives. And these are called five A's because they go into the artery. This is another pair of fives and you can see that it's got a bit of a rounded handle. That's for surgical preference. And then you have the needle holder, and there are many types of uh, needle holders. This one does not have, if I move this along, this one doesn't have a ratchet. Some of them have a ratchet. They all have a fine tip, and some of them are a bit more curved than others. But in general, this is the standard sort of microsurgical instrument. As I said, there is some degree of variation. They are shorter, longer, different types of handles, um, and some disposable, some not disposable. Okay, so we now go into go on to the clamps. Right, so we're going on to the, the microvascular clamps, the features of all these microvascular clamps they have in common in that they're non-crushing clamps uh, and they're quite delicate little instruments. Most of these, with the exception of the really big ones, need to have this clamp applicator to open and close the clamp. So you can see that the clamp applicator fits like that into there and it opens and closes the clamp okay now the clamps can be divided into the single clamps which just clamp onto the vessel and the double clamps which let's take this big one as a demonstration you clamp your vessels and then you've got this a sliding feature which is quite important uh, and quite useful in as much as you can put your vessels in there and then you can slide the vessel lens to the optimal distance for anastomosis. It's important that when one is doing that is you don't put too much tension on the vessels so that when you release the clamp, the anastomosis are actually under too much tension. You can see a wide variety of sizes from very tiny to much larger, and they have obviously much larger ones as well. This one is an Ackland clamp, and this one is different from these in that it's got this wire frame around it with these two things called cleats. And the whole purpose of this is that when you're working without an assistant and you put your sutures through, you can leave the suture ends long and, and wrap it around this so it acts as uh, an assistant which is essentially holding the vessels open. Very useful when you're doing triangulation a technique or such like. So it just acts as a sort of static uh, assistant if you would. 
Now, the other difference between uh, clamps are A clamps and V clamps. And A we, we, um, stands for artery and V for vein, if you would. And the difference is that all V clamps can be used for um, arteries and veins. But arterial clamps, for, um, the A clamps, are used for much bigger arteries, thicker walled arteries. And at the tip, well, this doesn't particularly have it, but even at the tip, they're sort of curled in. And that's to prevent too much crushing of the um, vessel and also to prevent the, the vessel from just slipping out. So it's a little like a parrot beak, if you would. Okay, so those are the A clamps and V clamps. Now, all of these clamps are metallic uh, and they're reusable because they, um, they can be autoclaved. Now, there are these new clamps that have been brought out that this is these are ones like Mercian, which are all disposable microvascular clamps. And they're single clamps and they're double clamps, as one can see. Okay, and the interesting thing about this is they all got these little numbers on them, and they are milligrams per meter, uh, sorry, grams per millimeter squared. And that refers to the clamp closing pressure. And the closing pressure is the force applied by the clamp, this is 15 grams as opposed to 120 grams, over the, the size, the maximum width of the vessel. So you can see from that, the larger the vessel, the less that this will give a closing pressure. Or conversely, the smaller the vessel, the greater the clamp closing pressure would be for a particular force. So if you had the 15 grams per millimeter square, the pressure to give on a small vessel would be a lot more than to give for a larger vessel. Important to realize that, and that's why we use the smallest clamps we can per um, vessel. The other thing, of course, veins are more, um, they're more prone to injury than arteries, and you want to use the, um, the less closing pressure. Now finally, if you can uh, go back onto these metallic clamps, a lot of these SNT clamps have these little lines on them. As you can see, maybe, there are four transverse lines on each limb. And what, what the lines denote is that the smallest vessel uh, width that you can use is between the two middle lines and the largest vessel width is between the two outer lines. So if you stay with a vessel that is this size, between the smallest one, to the bigger one, then you're fine. But if you go any bigger, it will not hold it. If you go any smaller, you need too much pressure on the um, vessel itself. So that's the, the microvascular clamps, and this is, of course, the clamp applicator. So we've been through the instruments, and we've been through the microvascular clamps, the, the rest of the stuff. Well, you've got the sutures, and sutures, microsurgical sutures, go for, um, for as small as 11 um, most people tend to use 9 and 10 for microvascular thing. They all have different points. This one's a taper point. Uh, this one's a round bodied. And many people like to use a round bodied for veins. And they use taper point for arteries because the arteries have a bit of a thicker wall. Very much personal preference and it depends on the particular vessels you're using. Okay. Um, the next thing we've got uh, quite useful is this little uh, micro... Um, surgery suction tip and that goes into a normal suction tip and gives you a nice um, sort of low pressure um, uh, sucking and uh, irrigation so that's quite useful uh, to have and then when you've got fluid in the veins and around you can use these things which I call arrows or some people call spears these are called cigarettes they essentially absorption things for putting into um, good idea to put it into, for instance, the, the the vessel themselves to suck away any fluid that's sitting there. And these can be quite useful to actually take away little bits of um, extraneous clot and such like. And these are a little bit um, bigger. I tend to prefer that. And this is quite a useful bit of kit. It's called a background. Uh, some people use a bit of rubber glove, but this is it's got a little matte surface so the vessel sit on it and gives you less glare. And when the vessels go on it, it you gives it gives you a much better visualization because you've got a bright microscope light. There's a bit of glare coming off, bits of fluid around it with the tissues, and this makes the background uh, it makes the whole situation where you can do much more accurate suturing. And these are little bits and pieces that are extra to microsurgical practice but they're quite useful and one should know about them 
um, before they start their microsurgery practice. So I think that um, will essentially, with the instruments and the microvascular clamps and all these other bits and pieces, essentially the microvascular kit in a nutshell. Thank you very much.